Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sober Jable. I am Joshua Abel. Thanks so much for joining me today. All right, so today is the day. I take the final steps to actually getting my moped registered and insured so that I can actually drive it in North Carolina. Um, so um, I'm on my way to the license plate uh, place and um, the insurance company to actually do that. Now, I'm gearing up for a fight because I called an insurance company a couple of days ago. It was one of those no-name off-brand insurance companies. And when I gave them my information, they said it would be $73 a year. I called them back the next day with the quote number. And um, because I do not have a driver's license, they wanted to charge me $300 a year. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense um, because in North Carolina, you don't need a driver's license to drive a, a moped as long as it's under 50 cc's. So that got me really aggravated. Um, I also wanted to add a collision. So in case uh, it got stolen, um, uh, you know, I would be able to recoup that money. So pray for me because uh, it might come down to fisticuffs if, if I have to deal with something. But you know how it goes. Dealing with um, this kind of stuff is, is never really easy. So we're going to give it a shot. My friends, I have finally done it. I am street legal. I have insurance and I have registration. Now, fortunately, it was so much easier. I went into Nationwide, gave them my information and got insurance. Only cost seven, about 73, uh, 73 bucks a year. Um, I'm able to make monthly installments. Uh, it's eight payments of like 12 bucks or something. So awesome. Um, I am street legal and ready to take this bad boy out on the road. Now, um, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm gonna have to be extra careful on these roads because these drivers are insane. As my sister was taking me to uh, the insurance place, um, there was a semi parked in the middle of the road with plenty of room on either side for cars to get around. We were pulling around the semi and out of nowhere, this woman who was driving on the, uh, who was coming the other way, pulled out into our lane. We almost had a head-on collision and my sister almost had to run into a tree to get off the road. Um, but she was trying to go around the semi on our side of the road, and yet she st she had plenty of room on the other side. I don't understand people. I I, I just don't get it. Um, now I've never been the best driver. I speed. I sadly <laughs> have driven drunk on more than one occasion. So I guess I shouldn't throw stones for her coming on the other side of the road. I'm sure I've done that. <laughs> Uh, more, uh, more than I can even count. Um, but all right, so I am going to put on my license plate. Um, I've got to attach it to the back of the vehicle. So let's see what we can do. All right, I am looking at the back of the moped and hmm, it doesn't fit. Even if I take out these screws and use those, I'm only going to have one screw in there, which I guess would be all right. Um, hmm. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to YouTube how to do this. I might have to get some sort of um, uh, 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 plate or something to put over this so that I can act. Well, no, because those holes wouldn't even work. All right. Um, and the thing didn't come with a manual, so I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on here. All right. So I wasn't able to find a video on YouTube that would really help me out. Um, so I'm going to have to rig this somehow, at least temporarily. Um, but what I did find under this seat here is... A handy dandy little toolkit and inside there are a couple of little tools that I might be able to use so found oops 
found this stuff on the inside, a little pouch with um, some wrenches and whatnot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really small one and unscrew one of these bolts. I'll choose, oops, wrong side. We'll just unscrew this one. Put our plate up and just screw it right back into that hole. Um, it'll only be screwed into one side for now, but um, uh, that should work until I'm able to, to get something that actually works. All right, there we go. Um, that should work for now. I'll have to find a better solution in, uh, within the next week or so, but there we have it. I am officially street ready. Now, one thing I did forget was um, I actually need to put on the mirrors. I had them in that little compartment so that we could fit it into the car because I wasn't able to drive it home legally. So I got to screw on these uh, mirrors. Might get pulled over if they're not on there. So they just screw in to the top here, pretty easy, hopefully. Like I said, manual labor is not really my forte, so we'll see how this, how this works. Let's go ahead and turn that. There we go, there's one. And the other. break out my handy dandy toolkit because this one's a little loose, a little wobbly, so I don't want it to fall out while I'm writing somewhere. Just kind of tighten that up. There we go. Make sure this one's good. That one could use a little tightening. Now I'll have to adjust it once I get on and on the road, but you know, it'll work for now. All right, there we go. And there we have it. A perfectly legal moped, at least for North Carolina. Um, once I start riding it around, I'll um, do a video on a review. This is a, um, a Tao Tao. I've never even heard of the brand, but apparently it hails from China. We'll see how it goes. I took a quick break from um, writing um, a book that I'm, I'm doing and um, to come out and smoke a cigarette. And it looks like the storm clouds are starting to roll in, which is really exciting for me. I love storms. Um, the air is just fresher. Um, it's crisp and clean out here. Um, <clears throat> I'm, thunder is in the air. I'm really hoping that we get a, a good storm. There's nothing like sitting either under a, a, a covering or something and watching the rainfall with thunder and lightning. I don't know. So hopefully um, maybe we'll get um, a bit a, a good storm out here. Um, if, if we do, then maybe I'll film some of it and let y'all take a, a look. 